Hello once again and welcome to the stressful shit fucking bullshit game that everyone hates. Uh, just, what do we do? We need to get some morale up because obviously I'm a little bit salty right now. It's very upsetting. Um, we have a couple of plans but we can't really put any of them into action. One of them is to get Martinez up to these levels so that he can come out with us on missions that are likely to cause us to get diseases and use his camping skills to de-diseases us. We only have 12,000 monies, so I think what I'm actually going to try and do is one of these medium bosses before everybody who I like suddenly becomes incapable of doing so. Um, that's basically these two, the Weald and the Warrens, both of which are horrible places to go to in any situation. Which means we're likely to get diseased. But the Swine King seems like a decent opportunity. Maybe what we do is we take Tim. We take Ash. We take... I was thinking Miri. Eldritch Slayer seems like a good thing to take into the... Ah, more like the Weald, really. I assume this is a, a beast. And we do have beast damage, so that seems like a good idea. Maybe we can come in second. Maybe we can come second. As is right. Could you take two hand bastards? Is that a thing? I don't want to take a level three, although it seems like not a terrible idea. Maybe we take Pete. So that he can both use his weird reconstruction in order to bolster Ash's ability to heal. And use Abyssal Artillery to hit the back. And, you know, Vulnerability Hex. Maybe we should unlock Weakening Curse as well. Where does this... This is the back. I think we'll do that. And then we'll go into the Blacksmith. Make sure everyone's got a proper amount... Oh. very expensive. <laughs> I don't want to do any more than that. Oh, jeez. We're not going to be able to afford to... We're not going to be able to afford to embark if we get everyone up to a level where they can actually beat the boss. So let's rethink that strategy a little bit, and instead of try the boss, we just try a normal mission. Same idea, but it'll get us some money. It'll get us this, which is odd. What does it do? Protection, uh, it's a darkness run, so uh, it's an option still. Oh, for five minutes. Come back. A long one, not really down for that. And a short apprentice. Like, that's where we want to take all our apprentices, but it's the fucking cove again, so I'm not going to do it. Right, you get your asses back in here and stop being little whiny little shitbags. Miri, what is he complaining about? Ash, get in here. Don't want to level them up too much, actually. Ah, shit. Now, we can't take Pete and Tim. Because that will cause them to level right the fuck up. So we take Ash and we take... Doug? Let's take Ed. And Snowland. No, we've already got a thingy. Miri might level up. Ah, uh, this is... Right, let's take Holmesy. Here we go. And... And now the people puzzles. Unfortunately, I spent the money on the people. And then decided not to take them because I don't want them to level up. Ah, it's very stressful. But we, it is what it is. Let's go. Uh, trinkets. Everyone give me my trinkets back. You can have that. And... The stress damage seems like a good idea. Yeah, sure. Have that. You don't really need that. Oh, yeah, sure you do. You might as well, because you're going to have the thing that... Um, the repost thing that marks you, which is actually very valuable. Um, resistances. Don't really want negative disease resist in, in the wield. Stun skill chance is probably something decent. You have a stun attack, right? Yeah, that one. Uh, you... Uh, I don't know what to do with you. You're very difficult to deal with. Actually, taking the jester might not be a good idea, because it dances around so much. Harvest, Finale, Solo, and Ballad. 
I mean, it's in the right position at the moment, but... It moves you forward three, and that moves you back three. That well, sends you right to the back, doesn't it? Which is kind of fine. But I'd like you to be able to use that when you're not healing. Oh, dear. Reconsidering. Get out. Um... Maybe we do take Snowland on this run. Sure. There are beasts in the Warrens. Do do do. These. There we go. Dodge. Less debuff resist. Scouting chance. If torch is below 51, so we're not going to be doing that. And more damage versus beast seems like a good idea. So then it's even more damage versus beast, and we're basically owning the shit out of every beast that's ever happened. We'll take the 33%. And the 25% on both of those, and we will provision. I nearly clicked that, thinking it would take us to this screen, which it would not have. Oh no. Take plenty of stuff, because we want to get stuff back, but we also want to not die. Maybe that's enough. A couple of those, sure. Wield is going to be... Uh, I don't necessarily want to interact with a huge number of, um, of curios. But at the same time, I want to be able to bring back as much stuff as is sensible. Now, we do have to gather three grain sacks. This shit. Trap food. Go this way. Since it's a quest location. No touchy. For Christ's sake. Actually, doing it to yourself. Ruined. Dud hitter. Replaced wield phobe, which I just realised you had, so that's perfect timing. Uh, I could not give a shit about what you replaced it with, so I'm very glad that that happened. For once in my life, I'm glad that Ash is a pain in the fucking ass. Everyone's got the right stuff, haven't they? That's got a mark. I did not real. Uh, mark yourself. Um. I'm half expecting to be surprised enough that having a holy lance is going to be more valuable than having this because we're actually going to want to mark this unit with the the retribution. Sweet. Yeah, so for the first time I'm actually doing something not necessarily standard. I don't know. What would you say? Quest location. Quest location. None of this is a quest location. So I'm going to go this way and hope for a scout. Okay. It's not a shitload of units, but at the same time it's human beast. Do we mark it first? Maybe we do that. Reduces prot, which is going to be that one. Which one are we going to kill the first? That one's a bleed and a lot of stress. That one's a mark and a bit of stress. So I think maybe what we actually do is we try and kill this one first. Now that's a, very much a setup for the next round. We did dodge that, so it turns out that's probably the correct thing to have done. What's your stun resist? Very high, I expect, there, yeah, 70%. Um, unholy? It is unholy. Right, so you get extra damage versus this, which also now has less stress. You don't need to do anything, but we can't do this because we're not actually in the right place. Why? We'll swap you around. Remind me. You need to be in the opposite situation. Uh... I guess we just try and stun this for the next round. That seems sensible. It's missed once. It did not stun, but that's okay. You can probably tank that. Absolutely you can. You, by just resisting everything, which is perfect. Uh, what does this do to the target? Nothing, but it activates repost on us. It does do some damage. It's probably worth it. I don't want to spread out the damage we're doing too much. But this will allow us, if any of them does any sort of generic 
spreading out the damage attack, we will get another go. Like a, a free shot. So now we just hit. That's really good. This is working out fine. These high level characters can actually deal with the fucking attack in the first round, unlike everybody else. So you've not got much left. Everyone dodged, so you don't get a riposte for that. Two damage and you've got four HP left. There's our riposte. Did do us some extra stress. That's like a tiny little bit of stress compared to what was happening to our level one units. Like, who gives a shit? That's nothing. Just done this. Don't matter, that's now dead. In radiance, may we buy Which means victory. we... Oh. Have to kill it anyway. For 20. Would have been nice if you'd gone earlier, but... I guess we know for the future? I feel like I'm unlikely to use that knowledge. That it's maybe a good idea to wait for the Crusader to go against such units. That was a really good fight. I'm very much a fan of these good fights that, that go well. Fight the good fight. Maybe it's just the code. You need to take a completely different setup of of units than I'm ever anticipating. We do want to collect some stuff, but mostly I just want to get the week done. We have to go here because the quest item could be there. It could be in the corridors. You know, I want to get the week over. I want everyone to get back to full health. This could be harder. This is a beast and not unholy, and that's the unholy one. So what we're going to have to do is get rid of this in a way that doesn't leave a corpse. We'll try and knock back. What should move this? It's quite high. So I think we activate retribution. We mark ourselves. And then we mark this target. And then we just use our units to hit it a, a lot, basically. Stud? Yeah. It's fine. Stun resist is great. I'm happy that we resisted the stun. We should probably think about putting um, a stun resist trinket on a Vestal rather than two heals. Like two bonuses to heal. But I don't know, that, that 12 heal is actually very valuable. But now we just hit this a lot. Uh, we could try and stun it at 70%. Kind of buys us some time, but then so does killing it. That's a lot of damage for it. So Snowlin could end up with a stun on him here. It's a lot of um, stress, but we did resist the stun, which is nice. Now we just do as much damage as we can to this unit. These 15s are so valuable. There we go, it's dead. It did leave a corpse, alas. Unless... So, I wonder if it still has. Yeah, it's got a much higher move resist now, it's dead, which is really annoying. So, I guess. Oh, I didn't move the unit. That's okay. Uh, we'll do this. How much HP has it got? It's still got 22 when it's dead, which is dead annoying. <laughs> dead annoying, get it? So, you're gonna have one more go. You're not reposting anymore. That doesn't count as an attack to repost. Fine. You will whistle. We'll use the other units to remove this one. Ideal. That's the correct order, because now the unholy smiter can smite the unholy. Everyone just stay alive, which is very valuable, thank you. 16 damage to that. Well, it does have protection on it, I guess. Okay. Just keep going. Thank you. Why'd you get to... I'm confused by the turn order. It's very confusing to me. Alright, let's uh, remember to do this. Thanks for reminding me. Not. More attacks. This is going fine. I mean, Snowland's kind of stressing out. But don't forget it's a medium mission. We'll be camping at some point. So there's treasure and a battle. Um, but... There could be a quest item in the corridor, and we haven't got a scout, so... We don't know. There's a trap. Not really what I'm after. And we can get Snowland to de-trap in this direction. Maybe. Although it does involve another fight, so maybe we won't do that. Ah, this could be worse, especially since they're surprised. This is actually probably going to be fine. Uh, human beast. They're all human beasts, except that, which is beast. Can we kill this straight out? We could miss. We can't kill it. 
We don't have a dodge remover, which is kind of a pest. We might try this actually, get some leads out on everything. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Now we try and retribute. This. Try and get the mark on, on. Try and get. Wait. No debuff from that. My mistake. Still the right thing to do, but I was thinking in terms of something else. Confidence that is perfect. The enemy do you have a mark? No, but you have less dodge. So that's what we want. Less dodge on this. Just didn't dodge it. That's a lot of uh, damage to it as well, so that's really good. Maybe the Vestal going first is not actually the worst thing. No disease? No debuff either. That's fine. We have a riposte. We dodged it. We have less dodge. That's okay. We are a tanky unit having less dodge on the uh, marked unit. It's not ideal, but I mean it's kind of the point of the unit. Definitely going to die if we hit it. Very likely with one dodge. Good, good, good. I feel like in the... Um, the cove is the only place where we don't have trinkets that benefit us against the enemies. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Hmm. Everything's got some amount of dodge here. Or maybe we try to stun this. That seems like a good idea. A free bit of torch as well. I mean, like we have a unit that has great uh, attack against both beast and human, which these are both of. Well, it is against human because of the trinket we gave it. Well, it's beast, I'm saying. Um, but these are all beasts anyway. But everything in the cove is Eldritch. Which is just silly. Because we can't do anything about that. Knock back and stun. I should rem remember about that. Ah, that's really good. A faint hope blossoms. A faint hope blossoms. It's not a faint hope. I'm feeling really good about this run. Thank you very much. Another fucking crit. Perfect. Snowling. Chill out. Be, be pleased by your cohort and their amazing skills. No? Let's do this. Everyone hears a bit of stress, maybe. You didn't need to. Uh, do this. So that's dying. That has no HP left. There you go. Well, we're almost making profit in terms of, you know, benefits to ourselves. I would rather have all of this than most of this. Holy water could be valuable, I don't care, let's take these. Inventory is going to be a huge problem on this run, because it's a collecting stuff type run. Hacks, laden with loot. hacks. Often low on supplies. mad hacks. We're going to do this, didn't even check, probably pretty good. Trap, 80, plus more. Oh, you get a uh, trap ability just based on levelling up. But well, I assume that the traps themselves if level up treasure to go with you. The flow of oh, that's fine. Other worldly corruption. We have so much food we can use it to heal up and we haven't even needed to think about that. At some point we will probably use this uh, camping to de-stress Snowlin a little bit. And possibly everybody else after this round because it's one of the first ones where we haven't had the opportunity to really decimate the, the, the opposition to some extent before we before the start of the round before they get to go I suppose uh, these are all beasts do they have high dodge reasonable dodge Snowland's the only one that really can do any damage to the back so I think we should start there that's okay the bleed helps the knockback on this doesn't help and neither does the stun so I think we just retribution again like, I really like Retribution because it gets us all that extra damage from everything that attacks you. Rather than just the one piece of damage from when you first get hit. First perform the hit. That's good. Didn't really need the crit on someone who wasn't even damaged. But yeah, especially if you're going to dodge. If we can get a dodge... Uh, I think I'd rather have a high amount of dodge on Holmesy here in future, if possible. Do you know what? Let's go for a kill plus. It is so. In fact, that's nearly a kill plus plus. Let's do this now. That's another kill plus. With a crit on over something over here, so we're actually doing really well. 
Don't mean to, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but... Wow skis! No? Seems like a wow skis moment. That's okay. Do your fucking worst. You should die as a result of it. We've got a tiny little bit of stress. Oh my fucking god, look at all this shit. Eldritch Slayer. Have to take it. Absolutely have to take it. I was literally just saying that we don't have anything even remotely valuable in the cove and along comes a spider and now we've got one. So I don't think it's worth opening it. It could be trapped but we can't afford to take anything that's inside it. Oh hello. Holmesy, what are you up to? Bloodthirsty. Well, <laughs> you uh, opened a pile of bones because you are compulsive, and now you're bloodthirsty as well. Oh look, you're still compulsive. Luckily, it's just a bag. The bag contains loot. A handsome reward for a task, for a task, well, task performed. well performed. Like what? <laughs> Leave. This is not necessarily going to be one of those missions where we come home with a huge amount of stuff, but I would like it to actually be over before it goes completely horribly wrong. There could be something here. Maybe we should just hope for a scouting. If we don't get a scouting, we'll have to go to that room just to do this corridor. Uh, which is not ideal. Not at all ideal. Keep the light up. There's some hunger. Nope. Good. And then we can think about camping at some point. Oh, hello. Here's the centaur. The swine tour. We haven't seen one of those since the episodes that I screwed up. So thank you for watching those if you went through the, the torture of having done so. Um, What are we on here? We're on 76. That's fine. We've got... I don't know what we want to take out, really. Probably the um, unit at the back, which is once again the main stress dealer. Oh, you dodged. Not a fan of that, though. In that case, I was stuck. I could. I guess we do that. We don't need to heal yet, and we do have a good uh, buff to healing. We will s certainly set up retribution because this unit could set it off, in theory. We will just smite this because we've got a unit at the front that will hit units at the front. Uh, you're going to go backwards, are you? And dodge! What did you do that for? I do not understand. The only one you hit was the exact right one. That's actually really, really good. Thank you. So you can die. Perfect. And then we might as well mark this unit at this stage. Basically, Snowland's going to be doing all the damage. It's definitely Snowland, yeah. <laughs> Probably should, uh, they need nameplates above them so that I don't offend everybody. Great way to lose friends and alienate people. Put them all in a video game, get them all killed, and then call everybody by the wrong name anyway. Confuse everybody with everybody else. That's a good role. Fan of that role. So now you're going to charge forwards. I see. Both of your attacks miss, which is a lot funnier from this side if I'm being honest, than it is from that side. But you see, the first one is a runaway attack, and then the second one is a come back and stay for good this time attack. But you still got a bit of dodge on you, so let's, let's do this again. We don't need to heal. We don't really need to do anything at all, to be fair. Punch it. It's not unholy, so we don't get a bonus to the damage, but... Kill that one. Perfect roll. That's exactly what we needed. Crunching backhand. Ah, no, that's a bad thing. Oh, not too bad. Bit of damage. Fine. Kill it. Then the Vestal gets to go and heals everybody. Called it. Critted yourself, so then... Oh, I thought you would have got your own... Uh, stress down, but that's okay. And then we win. Another amazing round. Because we have people that can Seize counteract that lot. Push on to the task's end. That's enough gold to consider doing that. I think now's a good time to camp. If no oh, yes, thank you. No quest item. 
Oh, this one would be a good time to camp. I mean, we could get some food out of that table, but... I think at some point it's important to... There's a trap, and I literally forgot because I was talking. I do apologise, Ed. To some extent, I apologise. Because I was saying... I think it's more worthwhile taking the money in many situations just because... Well, why not? We need to get a lot of stuff out of this mission. We spent money on stuff that we didn't end up actually using. I.e. we specced up a party for the boss and then didn't go and fight the boss because I realised it was all going to go horribly wrong. And I'd rather be a lot more cautious these days. We need to unlock more of these as well. But again, we were always really low on money and that, um, that one run when we tried to take the Vestal out no, the Antiquarian out, well, yeah, and the new Vestal, was just such a wash. So, we'll do this, it's a really good, really good one, I, I do encourage. I do encourage, I do believe. Remove mortality debuffs, but we're going to de-stress you. You've actually got yours. So this is a uh, time cost of two, so there you get that. Now, more dodge, more crit, more dodge, more crit. Hooray! Having more dodge on Holmesy then is great the because Holmesy still gets to use the riposte attack. The riposte attack. Oh, I did a gesture. A Heimlich gesture. Um, in real life, but of course, it's not on camera, everybody. It's just, just normal talking. It's radio. Um, here you go. Sweet. Uh, even, if, even if he... she dodges... Holmes is a female person, but I have given her a male character with a fabulous moustache and beard. The stuff is only the first test. Right. Good. Now it must be carried home. Now we just look around. There's two rooms in the corridor. I press T. Never mind. Press it now. Uh, let us rush down the one with the lowest dodge. Because for once we actually have humans and unholies. You're unholy, so I'm going to leave you to the Crusader there. It's fine. I mean, we just got rid of exactly that much. So what, right? Bleed? Small bleed. Not really something to be concerned about. I think we just hit them. I don't really necessarily feel like it's worth on this round. Wasting generally turns. That's the stuff I want this one. On um, setting up the riposte and everything, I think we can kill them in so few rounds just straight up. This does not have a holy damage bonus, but this one does. So we hit that one really hard. And there we go. Yeah, because this is basically going to be the last round. Unless they dodge. So good on you, I suppose, but not my favourite. So you can't hit the back, so you can, so you're going to do it. You may get... Okay. Could have set up a riposte and done that, but then we wouldn't be in this position going we didn't need to set up the riposte, so... You know. Comes and goes. It is what it is. A crit! That was a huge crit! Ed! Why did you learn to do that? I think we'll leave that. We need one... Um, yeah, do that. We need one uh, inventory space at least to bring back the final piece of grain. Final bag of grain. Don't bother with the flow. It doesn't need staunching. Chill out. Might as well eat these doggy treats as well. Oh, here it is. <laughs> um, what else is there to do? Nothing. So we might as well just get rid of something and take this and leave. Let's go back because I feel really good about that. I said we needed a morale boost and we got a morale boost, but I honestly I think it was more by luck than judgment. We picked one that seemed like we could manage it. Everybody's level 4, which is excellent. Like Everyone's still level 4 and everyone who wasn't level 4, i.e. Holmesy, is now level 4. Everyone here is basically not dead anymore. I think we should put Doug in for a little bit of treatment. Oh, Zeke is still in. We have to wait for Zeke to be ready. Okay, we'll give Doug 
No, maybe not. It's difficult, because <laughs> because it is. It is what it is. Can we take them out on anything that's remotely sensible? That looks like a yeah veteran, veteran. There's a level zero here, but really I want a ruins or warrens level one mission, which there is, but we don't have Zeki available. Now these are both short. As long as we're not in a cove, I think we can probably take it on. Ruins would be ideal. Warren's second best. So I think we'll probably try and get a Warren's mission. There's three here, so there's plenty of space for it. And there's a champion one. Knock down the shrines. Okay. Well. That was a good, uh, a good run. I'm hoping that with enough money, with a couple more runs... Right, who are we gonna... Who were we going to take? We were going to put Ash, Tim, oh, Ash goes here, Miri in the second position. Interesting, really? Because of that. Yeah, we have this rather than this. If we do that, it's the previous, yeah. And Pete, right? That's what we were going to do. It's not even a, not even a named team. It seems like a pretty good team, if you don't mind me saying so. And then we were gonna make sure that they had all of their armor, etc. Right? But we couldn't afford it, and we still can't. That was probably a bad idea. But now we can at least send out a low-level team. We don't have to worry too much about, you know, the. We can still do a short Warren's skirmish with Dutch and Sejiris and Erasmus and Brian, maybe. Let's spec this out. Sejiris goes in the middle so that he can do invigorating vapors, right? We might want to unlock Nervous Stab at some point, but that's okay. Not right now. Um, Brian goes at the front to do a shitload of damage. Then Dark Trojan could probably go in the second position to do stuns and sort of backup damage. That seems really good. And then Dutch can be at the back with the um, with the awesome trinket. And this is going to be another massive DPS mission with uh, an antiquarian to bring back more stuff that doesn't involve us collecting anything and therefore filling up our inventory. So that seems like a really good thing for the next episode. So in the next episode when I hope you will be joining me. This seems like a really good thing to do and we'll, we'll be doing it. But until then, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you uh, like the video, don't bother leaving a like. Couldn't give a toss, but do share it. I really appreciate it when people share it, put likes on our Twitter feed. Uh, if you have a look in the comments down below, there's the Google Plus and Twitter accounts for you and I play, where all of our videos go up. And if you are subscribed, you will of course get whatever notifications you're setting up. Set whatever notifications you're set up for. So, if you want to see more, do subscribe. Really appreciate it. We are now actually at 30 subscribers, which is probably a milestone. You know, it's got zero at the end. So, thanks everyone for doing that. I'm going to keep waffling on because I can't figure out how to end the episode. <laughs>